There's been times in my life when my world came in. I never, never understood what it was happening. That's when I grabbed the pen like a soul in a syringe. You pumped it in the page like it all made sense. Whole tales of my victory, struggles, defeats. Stories influenced by people I reach. Teaching while learning and laughing while crying. Living while losing through parts of me dying. Bad habits and company knowing that it was up to me. Change was a choice, broke free from my custody. Started from nothing and worked my way up. Sacrifice love and endured the breakups. Offer a pay stuff, check for check. I did everything I could to get respect. I found the ambition and took the initiative to still carry on when there's nobody listening. Broken promises, the truth is obvious. Lost is down to attraction of opposites. Love's an argument. My name's Danny Fernandez. Uh, I also go by Death 3. I'm an MC, DJ, graffiti artist, producer, uh, skateboarder. My whole life has been kind of based on traveling. My parents were actually missionaries. They decided to become missionaries at that age. I have a brother too, so me, my brother, and my parents basically um, started, I think, in, in the U.S. Uh, boarded this basically a, a giant ship that was based half of a hospital, half of a cargo hold, and that would provide like third world uh, relief work. So basically started there, kind of lived on there for six or seven years. And basically in that time, traveled to Western Africa, Central America, all over Europe, um, and then I guess back and forth to the US. So basically during, I guess even to the day, like even all over South America, you see it more and it's, and it's used really as, here it is used as a message too, but there it's kind of like, uh, you, you really see like, uh, big pieces done and like just that are space, you know, like with a message or against another politician or whatever. It's always like kind of back and forth stuff. And even like, I'm sure that they hire people to do it for them. Kind of when I when I saw it in Texas, I wasn't I still didn't understand the culture that much. Like I was like I didn't learn about it until I was 15 or 16 when I started like getting into like books and and you know finding actual history on it and looking looking it up via internet and stuff. Uh, that that kind of I don't know it, it has it had a it has a, a pretty big message that part compared to um, what I was seeing obviously at the time, which was probably just tags in the back alleys and stuff. And then once I started diving more into the culture, I started seeing like that there's a huge, it's huge, you know, like there's so many different levels of it, um, professionally and unprofessionally, and there's both respectable and in a sense of like the kind of like uh, guerrilla urban art, you know, and stuff like that. So watching it, watching that the actual level of it increase, like it's always been really cool and it's always been really artistic, but. But from, from, you know, when I started seeing it in the early 90s until now, it's like now you can see just these incredible pieces. I just kind of realized I've always, all of the different things I've focused on over the years, whether it was like DJing or rapping, um, I've never actually done that, that strategy or formula for, for graffiti and stuff. And now that I've seen, like, it's probably made me the most money. Now it's like, I understand that like, you, I can I can provide someone a custom piece of art that's going to protect their and also like draw attention to their business or whatever. So pitching that, um, my whole approach to it is a whole different different than what it was before, as where it was just like doodling and, and people approaching me. Now it's kind of like I understand what the purpose is, so I can scout out places that I'm like, oh, okay, maybe this will that that place is the perfect like independent business for this. And so yeah, just that I guess that has been what changed it over time for me anyway. There's a lot of people who think it's like sellout move type stuff, but for me, I've always done art and, and graffiti was always, I just did it anyway. It's not like I started with the intent of doing it for money. Through the different releases that I've had with music, I would learn little things about everything. And before it was all just, it was all just me looking at it like, there's, there's, you start rapping and then all of a sudden you get this glorious record deal. And that, it was just that, like that's what I saw of it. And you know, like every little opportunity would see, it would be so much bigger in my head than, than it actually was. So I guess through working with the first guys that I, that I started working with who actually were like, you know, putting CDs out, I learned about that, the, that process itself. 
and so but never did it yet until my until my first solo release it's been a long time coming from puck to an up and comer since I wrote my first rhyme or collected my first number. Often wonder where I'd be if I never started MCing, but now it's a part of me as my personal best achievement. But if you're at a point where you're at a, a semi-professional level and you're ready to take it to another step, you know, finding people who are professionals in the industry to work with you on those things, and who whether some of them aren't aren't going to be willing to work with you, but you just have to keep hunting them, hunting them out and finding what what your little niche is and. So it was really like a, a trial and error basis and I made so many mistakes over the years. And if I were to think back, not that it's a regret on how little things that I've learned to maximize the effect of, you know, maximize the effect of what I'm trying to do or the music that I'm making, if, if I would have just used a certain strategy, it would have gone so much farther. But that's part of the learning process. So it's almost like my catalog of, of music is, is just like the practice. As for that would be different before, when um, you know major, when it, when there wasn't it wasn't so digital and it wasn't so easy to record an album. You couldn't just put out three records to figure out how to become a rapper. You know?